Simply let go of everything, follow my medallion, and repeat after me. I am happy. 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 I am not sad. I am happy. I am not sad. I am happy. Are you happy? No. I'm not happy. You ever been so depressed, so down, that your mental actually crosses over and affects your physicality? Laying in bed at night, pouring my eyes out as the demons continue to pick at my brain. Night terrors. Waking up in the morning, feeling so sick. A sickness that can't be described by subjective symptoms, so no doctor could ever help me. Instead, they prescribe me medicine that, uh, what it does is it locks me into my own body, essentially making me a walking zombie. That shit doesn't help. I needed to find some type of happiness. Some type. Even if that meant exploring different things. So I fell into drugs. Nothing crazy. I mean, I figured a little marijuana couldn't hurt anybody, right? I mean, I never heard of anyone overdosing on ganja. So I started smoking a lot of ganja. <coughs> slumped over but the thing was when my high was gone the feelings came rushing back I was depressed again even more so maybe so I started looking for a different buzz naturally so I started drinking that uh Bahama Mama's Sex on the Beaches or, or even beer. I'm talking about 750 milliliters of 120 proof of whiskey in one day. I used to, I used to wake up shaking, shivering. I was suffering from tremors after uh, the long nights of drinking. It was probably my body telling me putting too much stress on me. You know? 
Yeah, I paid the warnings no mind. I wanted a, an even greater buzz. So I started to mix pills with, with, with my alcohol. Um, opiate pills. Percocet. Not a uh, five milligram Roxy's. I'm talking about 30 milligrams. The big boy candy. Nothing, nothing to play with. That combination used to, used to knock me right out. time I looked in the mirror, I felt disgusted with the man I seen. I wanted to punish this monster. So I drank toxins to punish myself. So far. My body rejected it, but at least I still got a little sneak attack in, you know? blood boils, your blood tingles, it's like it's, it's like it's itching to get out, until you have no other option but to listen, and let out that bad blood. I heard, um, I heard love heals everything. I figured I needed love in my life. I needed to feel love, some, some type of love. What type of girl would talk to a mess like me? So, uh, what I did was I, I went and I took out some cash and I went to this local spot where I knew prostitutes would be. They would be there waiting for people like me. Prostitutes don't don't judge. And they give you the love you're you're seeking, right?
my demon steered me into a moral behavior by experimenting with these deviances. I realized none of those things would ever truly make me happy. You need energy to commit suicide. <sighs> Laying in bed all day, blaming others for my problems. It's my full-time job. I blamed my ex-girlfriend for leaving me. In reality, I probably drove her away like I do everyone else. I blame my dad for leaving my mom. For leaving my mom and me. I blame America because I can't find a fucking job. I have a bachelor's degree in marketing. The only job I could find is at the fucking supermarket. Then I thought, I can't be it. Immigrants come here and they earn a better living than most Americans. So, so what's the real problem? Me. When my mind starts to go crazy, <laughs> trying to formulate these these uh, absurd absurd theories on my on my depression. I'm not a doctor. I don't. I don't know. I usually uh I usually take a tranquilizer to calm myself down. When you're on sedatives, my choice ketamine. When you're on sedatives, it sedates you. But at the same time, you go through an array of emotions. An array of emotions that you that you can't control. Hallucination is a side effect. There's two types of hallucinations. The shit that you see and auditorial hallucinations. The shit that you hear. When I'm fucked up, I usually hear shit. I hear voices. It was the voices. They were actually talking to me. I remember the voices. I remember them like they were yesterday. They, they kept saying, don't kill yourself. I, I kept asking why. I wouldn't get an answer. I kept asking why. And they said, I asked, I asked, why? I screamed it. I didn't know what the fuck, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I, uh, I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know who to pray to. But I went about and, uh, and I prayed. And it felt good. I can't lie. Um, it was the first time in my life I felt a sense of hope. I made a I made a covenant with the higher being that that I can't see. I I made a promise that if one person just one person, if they smile at me on the way to killing myself, then I would, I would reconsider. This video isn't to show that I'm a changed man. Because I'm not. 
This is my suicide note. you want to kill yourself? <laughs> Hell, at least you don't have my life. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs>